the B1040 little seat of Forney wash road. Um, it came up with a good few feet. It was a uh, easy, you know, cut them barriers high. This is uh, six days later after the last lot of flooding, and it's still uh, still here. Um, it got all the way over to the gates there. There's a gate. There's a tree. There's logs and everything sitting there. But yeah, let's go and have a look. We'll see really is turning into we'll see. You should put the old spelling back on that board there with the A at the end. But uh, from pictures I see, it came up to about here or more as well. Uh, came up to about here on there. So it's well and truly flooded out. You know, I should think the rest of January will be like this, if not for another week at least. Uh, if it's this high on this section here I'm showing you, that means the bottom section down there it will be under two, three feet of water. But yeah, look at that. This is a wash basin though. It's designed to try and help protect uh, towns and cities upstream, towns like Wellingborough and Northampton. Uh, this is the runoff onto the flood basin, onto the Whittlesey washes. Runs from Stanground Sluice all the way to Guyon Sluice, going towards West Beach. There you go, look, you've got somebody out there on, on the boat. He's probably been checking his fisheries. Right, yeah. The road becomes a bit of a public park when it's closed off. Anyway. Right. Get some uh, good shots with the camera on here, though. I have to get the camera out soon. Oh. Alright guys. There's a, uh, a fishing lake just down there. <laughs> Believe it or not. I can just see a port cabin sticking through the water. The bridge is just on high ground. That was totally covered with water the other day. These uh, willows go lovely. These willows have been making uh, some weird shapes for decades along here. And as they slowly start to rot, they're making some more decent ones. But yeah. There you go guys, well I'm, I must be coming up just above ankle height now, so a good six inches or something more here. I'm going to try and get you to the centre bridge. I don't think I'm going to get it done in time, so I don't want the video cut up like it does on these uh, Osmos. But yeah, UK underwater, January 2024. I don't know if you can just see a bridge coming up up there. Oh. One thing I do like about the water, because of disabilities, it's easier to move my feet a bit. Alright, now we're becoming like shin height. On this section, and it goes for probably another three quarters of a mile down there. The bridge in the middle was the island, the rest of that would be a good few feet deep. But we will check that out in a minute. But, hey, that's the, uh, the B1040 Wash Road near Peterborough, what's the uh, Forney Road? But check that out, guys. You can hear a drone above me as well. Right, I'll come back with another update soon. Don't be coming like a subscribe. Thank you.